I'm almost at the limit here to be killing anybody else. I killed a few over this way. Dragging off. Oh, you cheeky bastard! Hello everybody, Roscoe here, welcome back to Stalker Call Prep Prep Mizzy Mod 2.2 And uh, here we go This could possibly be the last The last episode of this The tears are welling up inside me um, Look at that, that's how slabs sit <laughs> Anyway Who is this guy? Strelok. Uh Now I've got stuff I need to give to him uh, Dave, I hear you on that one. I will do it right now. Is it these? Nope. What did I do with them? That's them. I found you at the, your group stashes on the way here. I wonder how you managed to find them. There should have been some records inside. Did you find any? Yep, these three notes. Thank you. Ghost, to, ghost and Fang were my friends. Together we managed to get past the Scorcher and reach the CMPP. Unfortunately, both died. After I returned my wee party company, I was wounded and stayed with the doctor at the swamps. I didn't see them again. It wasn't much. Uh, it wasn't until much later that I learned that Fang was killed by Mercs and Ghost died because he trusted the scientists. Anyway, that's the past. I now know what needs to be done to make sure that my friends did not die in vain. FN2000. Well, we've got a few things there. What did you see at the sarcophagus? It's all fake. The monolith, the wish granter, it's just a lie. A device that clouds your mind and the people in it are hiding something else, somewhere else. Do you know who was behind it? Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know what to believe anymore. Despite that, I found out more than they wanted me to. What information do you want to hand over to the government? Lots of things. I'm sure the information I have can be used to destroy the zone. I thought it could, I could do it myself, but it turned out to be far more complicated. The people who started it weren't in control anymore. I'll explain everything when we get out of here. We monitored your radio signal. Yes, I, con I contacted a stalker named Guy called Guide. He told me how to get to this place via the underground tunnels. It was Guide. He's a legendary stalker, they say he can guide you anywhere in the zone. The army boys are lucky I've met him, they wouldn't have lasted long without him. How did you know that the military here? Guy told me. He was one who brought who brought Kathloski and his squad here. I see. That's all for now. And we got an achievement. Keeper of the what? Your foresight has served you well on finding the notes of Strelok's group stashes you kept them until you found the rightful owner. Huh. I did, didn't I? Right, what are we doing? Well, I'm getting breaking it, to be honest. Um, let me just see if there's anything else I need to do. Hey, what's that? What's going on? It was the right time to give Shell a few notes to go some fine. Yes, I know. Sorry, I'm fucking trying to make sure that I get the ship squared. Uh, right, first off. Oh man, look at that beast. Move out, squad. No, no, no. I never knew I was on a fucking. I'm not ready. I'm fucking radiating shit, you fucks. Alright. I'm not saving it here. Statue, statue. Oh, an MIA. Was I hate? Sons of bitches actually made it. You were right, Strelok. Sounds 
zombies. Well. The school should be right along the fields. Double time. Is that still up there? That's the guy I need to. That's the statue. See if it's two. Stay up, where are you, man? Holy fucking shit. Man, I didn't even get a fucking any first aid kits. Just be quiet! Shoot the heads, boss. Shoot the bear heads. Glory. Oh. I'm fucking radiating here. We shouldn't have lads. Every zombie in Pripyat is going to know we're coming. We've got to move faster. Run! Poochie is gone! Back to them! Poochie! Let's show up. More zombies up ahead. Back to them! I can't see any lads. I can't see any lads. Oh, there we go. Fucking armor zombies. We're on the way. Roger that. We'll be there soon. Stay alert and follow orders. We're real close to the evacuation point. Let's move. Oh. Again. Maybe we should go around the building. There is no time. Check your weapons and fire. Whoa! Lads, watch yourself. Watch, 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 watch. Get out. Get your head on a swivel. Fuck me. Crazy psychos. Fire at will. Go. Which one's well? Are we shooting at? Yeah, I've seen. Tumblers. Wait, he's up there. What's up there that he is are shooting at? You shooting at fucking birds? Oh. Oh, wow. I have never seen them do that before. How are we doing for ammo? Oh, fucking millions. What was that? What? Nope. Don't stop. Keep moving. Huh? Okay. Run.
Come on. Up. What is happening? Where are we running to? Just this way. Major Detirev, we're taking heavy fire from an unidentified enemy. We cannot hold out for long. Monolith. No, no, no! Oh, shh. I can't see them. Oh, there's a statue. Uh, what was that? Two. We'll go for three. <laughs> Let me in. Wait, fuck. Oh, I love a good firefight. Fight ferociously, lads. Fucking dig in. Watch your arcs! Watch your arcs! A fire fucking hell! Get in that chopper. I hope it was worth it. Are you ready to leave the run? There's no way back. Yeah? As a reward for successfully completing his investigation, Diktyrev was offered a promotion to Colonel and the position of Mission Coordinator. He declined the opportunity to work at the HQ and submitted a personal request to be the information about the development of Psy devices obtained by Diktyrev alerted USS commanders. All the information gathered on ex-designated laboratories was removed from military archives and filed as top secret. All personnel working in the zone were ordered to prevent the disclosure of information about the laboratory. Several experimental samples were made on the basis of technical documents for item 62. Following a set of test trials, it was decided not to go ahead with large-scale deployment of the weapon due to the high cost of ammunition. Nonetheless, it would be reasonable to assume that further development of the Gauss rifle is ongoing. Sultan and his gang left the Skadask to do their shady business elsewhere after their attempts to capture the ship failed. The ensuing feeling of relative safety among stalkers led to a massive increase in the number of artifacts sold to Beard, causing his business to boom. While the formerly quiet following the destruction of the Bloodsucker Lair, 
it's unlikely that anything could significantly change the state of affairs on the Skadavsk. The old ship became a temporary center of stability. In the ever-changed freedom managed to earn the trust of stalkers at Yanov Station. Duty organized an assault in an attempt to regain lost ground, and Lieutenant Colonel Shulga was killed in a firefight soon after. The duty squad never recovered from the loss of its commander, and quickly fell the scientific expedition organized by professors Herman and Ozersky was a success. The data they collected facilitated the development of groundbreaking medicine and technology, which prompted the Ministry of Education to allocate additional funding for Gary stories about the Army's fate scared stalkers away from Pripyat. The few who dared to venture into the city ran into inexplicable phenomena, which added further dark strokes to an already gloomy picture of the dead city. The legend of the oasis stopped being a legend. The identity of those who managed to find a way to the secret anomaly became an increasingly regular topic of conversation among stalkers. Despite this, the number of adventurers trying to find it remained high, something the bandits were quick to take advantage of with constant offers to lead stalkers to the oasis, which organized mercenary squads continued to be active in the zone. Their interest in the secret laboratories is becoming increasingly difficult for USS operatives to ignore. Attempts to establish the identity of the client who hired the mercenaries proved the area around Yanov Station continues to attract growing numbers of stalkers. The lack of dangerous mutants and abundance of anomalous areas have led to the area being referred to as a treasure trove with increasing regularity. The rumors of Zulu's fate reached the leader of duty, General Veronin. Counter to most expectations, Veronin decided to posthumously award Zulu with the Silver Shield, duty's highest decoration. Stalkers at Yanov Station still think of Vano now and again, recording his lightheartedness and skills. While some aspects of his life are usually up for debate, one thing is clear. With his luck, Looking for few noticed Strider's disappearance, his desire to work out a way of helping people who fall under the monolith spell followed him to his grave. Senior Lieutenant Sokolov continued to take part in flying missions over the zone. During one such recon flight over Lomansk, his aircraft was shot down by mercenaries. Two weeks later, he was picked up by a patrol near the cordon. Within a month of his rescue, Sokolov had left the Air Force a group of stalkers was forced to seek shelter on Noah's old barge during a particularly powerful emission. When the barge was attacked by a horde of snorks afterwards, stalkers were forced to concede that the barge was as good a defense against mutants as anything they'd seen. Even more astonishing was a litter of pseudo-dog puppies that Noah himself led into battle. Having found out about his friend's fates, Carden gave up dreams of a stalker career. Having overcome his alcoholism, he moved to Yanov, where he partnered up with Nitro to set up a full-service repair shop. Both technicians gladly devote all their spare time to building a vehicle that could operate in the zone. Strelok passed on the information he obtained on his trip to the Chernobyl NPP to the USS commanders. This prompted the government to create a scientific institute for research of the Chernobyl anomalous area. Strelok took up the position of when Colonel Kowalski, commander of the Stingray Group, returned from the zone. He was forced to explain the reasons for the failure of Operation Fairway. Following a dragged out investigation and the brass's failed attempt to make him the fall guy. I didn't see that. Fuck's sake.
Ah, well there we go then. That's it. That's that fucking finished. Now, obviously I saved it before I had the choice to either go or stay. And uh, what we'll do is we'll quickly see what it was like to stay. And then that save will then forever be saved for whenever I want to make a trip in. For the most part for that, I'll probably be doing that a lot of it off camera. And that's not to say that I won't be playing any more stalkers. Um, for the time being, I'm stalkered at my face, so... I'm going to look into seeing uh, if any of the other stalkers uh, work with any of the mods. Like, uh, I'm sure that Scott has... I think it was Scott that had said to us about that one. Um, about getting the Blue Sky mod or whatever it was. Um, What's my thoughts on this? Fucking hell, it's... This has been a long fucking road. It's been a long road. Now, I play these hour, hour and ten minutes each, pretty much each episode. I've done... 41 of them. So that's 41 hours of gaming. That's more than most AAA games. Now, I've always... I've always had this fucking thing of saying that, you know, the AAA games that are coming out these days are just absolutely fucking the same cut and paste shit. This is a game that's had a mod. Um, so, was it 41 hours for the actual game? I don't, I don't know. It's probably a lot harder because it's got the Misery mod on it. But in any case, it's been a fucking, it's been an adventure. I've enjoyed Every, every minute that I've ever played in this, even the days when I'm getting my fucking brains rattled out with stupid fucking noises uh, from the porter guys. Uh, I, I love it. I love it. I, I endorse it on everybody, but you know, at least give it a try. Give it a shot. It's been fucking awesome. Um, thanks to everybody that's helped me along with this. Scott, Adam, Dave, Michael. Um... If I've missed anybody out there, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to see on the screen there. But for everybody that's had an input on this, it's been... I'm so thankful for it. And I hope that you continue to follow me in the future. See what other shit that I get up to. Um, but in any case, let's, uh, let's go and load up that other chat. Let's go and load up that other save and see what happens the other way. Uh, what was it? That one. Right, okay, let's do that now. I'll probably fucking die at this point. Jump in! Hold the light! Deja vu! Shit, my luck is easy. Major declare if we're ready to go. Get in that chopper. I hope it was worth it. Alright, there's no way back. No. Watch it. Fuck off, bitch. Is that us? They're away. Right, 
Might as well take all this shit. Should have given them the fucking information. Wow. So we lost two guys in that. Who was that? Was that the medic? Crow off. Don't know who that was. Who's that guy? Smear off. Take that though. And so, now I take it, the zone is my oyster. I can go and do whatever the fuck I want. That's strange, that thing there. That thing up there. Let's just look these bodies. I suppose that... Oh, it's a pretty short video this time. But uh, I can't help that. But, uh, it'll make it easier to render, I suppose. I want off the fucking wait. Actually, do you want to know something? It's taken for an hour long episode of this. It takes four hours to render. Fucking four hours. You should see it with fucking Kingdom Come. Fucking hell. That takes forever. It's a nightmare. Bonafide nightmare. But, eh. Uh, I'm in talks with the missus to try and see if we can get something else to take up the strain. See, my missus, see, she loves our, she loves our apple kind of stuff, eh, so, says that we should just get the fucking, the, uh, an iMac. Is it iMac? Mac. Mac. Uh, we get this kind of cool thing at my work where, uh, it's all tax-free, you can buy it, pay it up, but it's tax-free. Tax is done through something with your pay. It's quite a neat little thing to do. Uh, so, I'll be looking at it doing that with it, but obviously it needs higher authority approval, but it should take the strain off of, uh, of all the recordings. Fucking hell, we didn't have killed quite a few people here. I'm almost at the limit here to be killing anybody else. I killed a few over this way. Dragging off. Oh, you cheeky bastard! And that's where we'll end it. We'll end it there. Um, thank you for watching, guys. It's been absolutely fucking awesome. Um, what I'll do is I'll delete all the rest of those saves, other than the one where where we started before we kind of got on there, um, before I had the decision. And that save will remain. Um, again, like I said, I'll be, I'll probably just, uh, in the meantime, I will look at, uh, the other stalkers. I'll get all that stuff installed. Uh, if you can give me any recommendation of anything else that's, uh, that's good to put up, I'll get that sorted. And over the case in the next, because I've got a, a space in my schedule now, uh, I will start recording at least maybe four episodes off camera, or not, you know, off camera, but... Without posting, I'll get four of them stocked and then fire them up. That way that the first four episodes will be a bit of a surprise for me. Because like I said, I've never I've never completed Blue Sky. I I, I don't even remember ever playing it to be honest. I played the original. But Christ, I played that a long, long, long time ago. Um I think I was I, I think I've said it before, but I, I think I was in Afghan when I played that. Um I, I honestly can't remember too much about it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think I should do. Um, I'm game for anything, as you know. As you all know, anyway. 
So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.